it's the CMSD, man. It's a, CMSD play a big role in the reason why the teams move how they move mm -hmm. because they're not educated on how to create change in the environment. Let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Go so, into some detail on that. So, so I'll go into that. So when I was the events coordinator at Lead Safe Cleveland, I, I recently resigned to do ghetto therapy full time. Mm -hmm. But what I would do is I would go to different schools and I would talk public works administration, structure racism, mm -hmm. and red line. Mm -hmm. so I would talk about that. And now the four high schools I went to was John Adams. Ted mm -hmm. Legacy and Central Catholic. Mm -hmm. All of those schools are affected by Public Works Administration and Red Line. Mm -hmm. We're very terrible communities when you think of it from grocery stores to hospitals to mm -hmm. school system. So when I went in there and I asked them, and I asked them about structured racism and did they know about Red Line and the Public Works Administration, mm -hmm. out of those four schools, it was 300 students combined. Only one student said they knew something small about it. And these are the areas that's most affected by these legislations. Mm -hmm. So I did that same presentation at Laurel High School, which is a high school in Shaker mm -hmm. Heights. Mm -hmm. Out of 15 students in that class, eight of them knew Public Works Administration almost better than me. Wow. And they were creating solar panels. Wow. But in CMSD, we told to go to ROTC, go to the Air Force. We, we told to go to the Navy. We told to go to the Army. Mm -hmm. But these kids are being educated in Shaker Heights on how to create change in our environment mm -hmm. by creating solar panels. Mm -hmm. CMSD, we don't know change. I never heard of a nonprofit. I never heard of environmental justice until I turned 30. Wow. So can you imagine in CMSD, if we were taught environmental justice, if we were taught how to run nonprofits through high school, a lot of us wouldn't go to college. That's correct. Because complete right out of high school, you already got a nonprofit at 18 years old. You got a 501c3. You done created a nonprofit and changed your own environment. You ain't got to go back and pay student loans. Mm -hmm. You would just totally make a nonprofit and change your environment. But we don't get taught that. So we are taught to be the social determinants of health while the kids in suburban schools and private schools are taught how to create things around our social determinants of health. That's and this is what I found out. Because by me being in those four schools in CMSD and at one suburban school, they was getting taught on how to make money and make profit off of our social determinants of health, off of our trauma. Mm. And we are just taught to be the trauma. Yeah, you, you the, we're the statistic. We're the statistic. We, <laughs> we the profit. We're right. We the lick. Right. So if we don't have these social determinants of health, if we don't have diabetes, cancer, and heart diseases, and mm -hmm. they don't get paid. They, they don't get paid. So this is what I found out by experience. This is not just an emotion thing. Mm -hmm. When I went to these schools, I said, "Don't no kid in this high school know anything about." public works administration or these laws and legislations that was created to keep us in poverty mm -hmm. they don't even know about it these suburban schools uh -huh. were the one I, that i did a presentation at they knew all about it yeah and you were right about that